We're raising microwave Christians. We're raising folk who grow up quickly, know everything quickly. They've got an American form of Christianity that says that if you walk with God, nothing bad will ever happen to you. The soil is not that deep, uh, that the faith is about things. Their soil is not that deep. Name it and claim it. Not that deep. Call it and haul it. Not that deep. And when trouble comes, when the recession comes, they have to ask themselves, what in the world is God trying to do to me? Because nobody ever told them that sometimes to walk with God is to walk through the fiery furnace. And it's not that the fire is not really fire. It's just that there's a fourth man with you in the midst of the fiery furnace. That's what you know when you are planted in the word of God. It is to recognize that it's not that you won't go through trouble. It's the knowledge that there's a God who will be with you in the midst of the trouble. It doesn't mean that you won't have mountains to climb and burdens to lift. It just means that the joy of the Lord will be your strength so you can climb every mountain and lift every burden. It doesn't mean that you won't have to cry in the midnight hour. It just means that you don't have to cry like those who have no hope because you know that though weeping endures for the night, if you just hold on for a little while, joy will surely come in the morning when you plant it deep in the soil of the Word of God. You are not tossed to and fro by every wind and doctrine, by every trendy word, by every trendy movement. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but hold it, lean on Jesus' name, on Christ. Not on a personality on Christ. Not on some charismatic preacher on Christ. Not on some microwave movement on Christ. The solid rock I stand all of the ground. He is shaking sand. 